Hi, I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland, and I'll be your host today. Thank you for joining our webinar, The State of Deduplication. Our guest today is Tom Cook, President and CEO of Permavit Technology Corporation. Hey, Tom, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. George, it's great to uh, be getting together. Thanks for inviting me. Let's dig into deduplication. Sounds good. Before we jump into the questions, let's define deduplication. Uh, a lot of new people entering the industry, and this term is kind of commonly used around. At its essence, what we're trying to do is eliminate redundant data from being stored somewhere. That could be on a solid state disk, it could be on a hard drive. Uh, we've even seen it in WAN and memory and all kinds of different places. Tom, is that good enough for you for a description? That's right. It's really about optimization of, of data, and I think you captured it perfectly, George. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, first question DDoP's come a long way. What, what do you think the significant milestones have been so far? Uh, you're right. DDoP really dates back several years when we first saw single instancing come, come into being. And then it turned into sub file based, content aware uh, deduplication, mostly applied to the backup area. Now we're making major advancements in block uh, storage and optimization, and we're going to see DDoP really come in strong into the primary marketplace. Historically, uh, data, data domain made a real impact to the, to the business when they applied deduplication in the backup area. I think we're going to see the same thing in primary. So also, dedupe is not all the same. What are the differences, in your opinion, on the different types of dedupe that are out there? Right, George. So historically, dedupe was focused in the backup marketplace. But the truth is the backup solutions were specialized for that market and are not applicable to the primary market. So there's some key attributes that need to happen here to uh, get virtualization, SSD, big data, and cloud all taking advantage of DDoP. What, in, what in your opinion, are some of those? Well, George, you mentioned uh, really challenging uh, workflows for primary environments. So first thing you must be able to do as a deduplication solution for primary is perform. And that means perform at rates that keep up with or, or are faster than primary storage today. There's been hundreds of millions of dollars spent getting primary very performant. And for that reason, deduplication must be able to keep up in order to, to provide the proper solution. Uh, we're a hundred to a thousand times more performant than the backup technologies uh, today. Second, you have to be able to scale. So backup technologies demanded scale into the tens of terabytes. To, to address uh, big data, to address virtualization, cloud spaces, need to be able to scale in the tens of petabytes, and we're doing that today. And finally, because primary environments, um, resources are spread among many different applications, you need to be extremely resource efficient uh, because you're not in a dedicated appliance. All those things together bring that 5 to 35x impact to the primary environment that deduplication brings. So, Tom, as you mentioned, the, the workloads have, are really critical in the primary storage use case. What have some of the advances been today to get us where we are with DDoP? So, first, uh, I would mention indexing technologies. We've made major advancements in this technology area, which is basically about identifying uh, duplicates very, very fast. We've got uh, 26 patents in this area um, advancing the technology in this space. Second, platforms continue to advance. There's much more processor on board, RAM's advancing, and now SSDs. So what we have now are the requisite technologies and the ability to really produce that 5 to 35x impact that deduplication promises in the primary environments. Tom, we talked a little bit about indexing and performance and how important they were, and there's been some key changes. Let's, let's really drill into that a little bit further. Why are they so significant? Well, indexing is an area where we spend a tremendous amount of time. And basically, we've made major advancements in this area that enable us to analyze data faster than has ever been done in deduplication. We've got about a hundredfold increase over any previous implementation. So also, there's been some technical advances in memory resource utilization, which I would think in primary storage is just absolutely critical. Sure. There's always contention for resources, and so we've done our best to be as efficient as possible. We've reduced the amount of data that needs to be stored in an identification process to well less than a byte. So this combination, that has to really de deliver a significant performance improvement. Well, so uh, the, the importance of performance and indexing enables us to address information in real time. So inline deduplication is now a reality, and it's, it's the critical component of primary storage adoption. What's really cool 
is by addressing both performance and efficiency, we can now scale out dedupe almost infinitely to address the biggest challenge in the IT environment today, which is data growth. Tom, we talked to a lot of deduplication companies. You guys are really the only ones out there constantly talking about indexing and performance. You're the only ones that constantly claim, hey, we can do this without a performance loss. Why has Permabit been able to establish this leadership position? Good question, George. Well, first, I mean, we've been at this for, for 10 years. This is really hard stuff. We've been delivering solutions to customers for eight of those years. We've got deep experience in what are the basic technologies that are required to really address the space. First is identification of duplicates. Second is indexing technology we've already talked about. And then finally, scale out technologies. And we've been involved in these areas again for many, many years. We now have 26 patents that have been awarded in these basic areas and many more to come. So I think that, that we've been at it for a long time, we've worked at it real hard, and we've got a real focus that we bring to the deduplication space. Permabit has uniquely decided to focus on an OEM offering with Alberio. Why are you deciding on that path for this technology? You're right, George. We've got singular focus on the OEM market, and it was really a no-brainer for us. There are outstanding primary platforms out there in the marketplace, and we've got the best deduplication technology to make them better. So instead of replacing them, what we really try to do with all of our partners is make their platforms better. Uniquely, Alberio is the only product in the market that can address block, file, object, unified storage, so that throughout a customer's portfolio, throughout a manufacturer's product portfolio, we can address every one of their storage requirements. Tom, why don't these OEMs, storage manufacturers, just do this themselves? Well, again, we're bringing a singular focus to the marketplace, so I really think that we're developing our application more quickly than any single uh, vendor can do it on their own. Also, because we're talking to dozens of vendors out there in the marketplace, we're bringing back their requirements and the, the, the demands that they see in the marketplace, and we're incorporating that in our product. So frankly, we're learning faster than you can in a singular model. You know, I'd liken it to like Dolby uh, for noise suppression in your sound system or HD for your TV. Certainly, a lot of platform manufacturers could build those technologies, but why do that when you already have uh, really strong technologies that are out there and you can adopt those uh, uh, in the marketplace. That's what we're doing in the OEM marketplace, bringing the best of deduplication to great platforms, enabling companies to advance their uh, markets and their penetration with customers. So, Tom, those are good points. I think another factor that we see a lot is as larger storage companies tend to buy smaller storage companies, they end up with multiple platforms in their enterprise. If they go off and develop their own dedupe strategy, how are they going to integrate as they keep coming in with all these different storage vendors? Great point, George. So we've seen a lot of consolidation in the business. The interesting thing about Alberio is it's built from the ground up to apply to block, file, unified, object-oriented uh, storage, as I've mentioned before. So that means for the manufacturer that's assembled a product line or a portfolio of products, our product, Alberio, can apply from start to finish or end to end, as we call it, throughout their portfolio. So if you really think about it, from the moment that, uh, that information is ingested in the primary system to the day that it goes to its final resting place, information can be deduplicated and never rehydrated as it is replicated and migrated throughout uh, the product portfolio. That's the true excitement about uh, Alberio and how we apply to the company with a broad uh, spectrum and portfolio of storage solutions. We're really seeing a big play for that with the major companies. Tom, end to end dedupe keeps coming up. You just mentioned it as an approach for Alberio. Let's drive, dive deeper on that. What do you mean by that and what are some of the benefits to it? Okay, so this is where the really cool stuff comes in, uh, George. Alberio was designed from the ground up to address any block, file, object, or unified storage system and we have both target and source APIs. So this means in the vendor that's assembled their product line through major acquisitions or through incremental uh, product development, uh, Alberio can address every one of their products. So from the time that information is ingested in their primary storage to the time that it's migrated um, or replicated to their other uh, storage layers or tiers and to its final resting place, Information is in a deduped form, and it's never, ever rehydrated. 
the impact uh, for the customer is a tremendous uplift in uh, return on investment and effectiveness of their storage solution. Tom, dedupe everywhere is also a new approach. What do you mean by that and what are some of the benefits to it? Well, think of dedupe everywhere as being dedupe end-to-end -end on steroids. Alberio can be applied at the application, OS, network, and storage tiers. That's hugely impactful and really exciting for the broad portfolio vendors who address all of these areas in the IT stack. And this means customers can benefit from their investment in ways uh, that they never, ever imagined. And the vendor can realize the most cost-efficient uh, implementation for each of their customers. We think this is a monumental gain uh, in the IT stack. Also, we always think about deduplication as a capacity savings technique. In, in this kind of model, it would also be a performance gain as well, wouldn't it? Uh, you're right, George. So we've shown uh, throughout the enterprise and throughout the IT stack, we not only save space, not only save power, not only save uh, capital investment, not only save management, but we also improve performance across the line. For example, just across a network, if you've optimized the objects and you can minimize the traffic there, you get tremendous savings throughout the enterprise. Those kinds of savings are repeated in this model, and it, it's really exciting, both for the vendors as well as for the customers. Tom, dedupe end-to-end -end and dedupe everywhere look like they will enable major change in the storage landscape. What will be the business and economic impact for, for both users and vendors as these technologies take hold? Well, for the enterprise, it means they're going to be able to meet their storage and their business objectives. Gartner just not noted four technologies as being transformational in storage. Big data management, SSDs, thin provisioning, and data deduplication. The, the unique thing about data deduplication is it improves each of the other three transformational technologies as the most impactful of this entire group. Tom, I've heard you say several times, primary storage is about to be data domained. What do you mean by that? Well, from that, I really mean it's about to undergo a major and massive change. We're going to see 5 to 35x efficiencies in the market very, very soon. This is going to be disruptive. Deduplication technology is going to be responsible for very large swings in market share for those companies that adopt and move to a leadership position early. The market and the time favors disruptors. Hey, Tom, thanks for joining us today, and thanks for your insights on deduplication. I really enjoyed our conversation. I enjoyed it too, George. Let's do it again soon. Again, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Please join us again next time for our next upcoming webinar.